My name is Isa Lorenzo. I am a gallerist. Uh, I run a gallery showing contemporary art from the Philippines and around the region uh, called Silver Lens. It started in 2004. I wanted to build a platform for photography as a collectible art form. And instead of building a platform for photography, we should build a platform for contemporary art. It's an umbrella category that covers uh, everything from painting, drawing, sculpture, photography, wherein what's important is the idea, the concept behind the work, as opposed to it just being a technically proficient work or something that's aesthetically beautiful. I was abroad for several years. I took my, I, I went to school, and I was really trying to find a personal compass, trying to see who out there were pioneers, were, were Filipinas who were worth emulating or worth um, knowing. And the idea came across to photograph them. Okay, now that we have these photographs, let's show them. Not a lot of people knew who they were, you know, not even their families knew what they had done. You know, they were the lola, the mother, but they didn't realize na, my gosh, I'm, I'm living in the presence of greatness. My name is Veronica Ibarreta. Um, I'm a visual artist. Lahat ng ginagawa kong painting, salagang it's always a personal connection and then at the same time, hindi ako nagpipaint ng sad. So gusto ko laging happy. This one is pointillism, it's all about family. Kung baga kahit anong mangyari, at the end of the day, connect pa rin siya, it's true life. Ito taga 2M siya, as in small brush, point brush, talagang inisa-isa ko siya. For me, the most important na attitude ng artist is support each other and then help each other. Kasi I, I want to support my co-artists. A lovely lady, a lovely artist named Veronica, she asked me to be a part of this and I thought it was an important thing for women to get together and do something in the benefit of other women and so I was more than happy. Yoga is the expression of humanity through our body. Yoga is just like art, art is yoga. For me, it symbolizes peace, quiet, and harmony, and relationship with my family. Bibili ka ng ganitong art for sa pointillism, at least 20% goes to the proceeds to this Honta, to this Honta kids. So Honta International siya, is, um, it's about women. They support also yung mga sa correctional. They support for the mga, um, for the livelihood project, parang they educate and then, madam, uh, and then about the street children of Bicol. I think the biggest thing that we do, aside from exhibitions and showing art, is we educate. Educating people as to what contemporary art is, what it means, and using it as cultural currency. What we're doing is not just a job, it's a responsibility because we have become the de facto art ambassadors for the Philippines. So when people see what we do, parang binabato namin sa buong mundo kung ano yung itsura ng contemporary art sa Philippines. So it's a responsibility. There's so many great artists and it's really a challenge to stand out. You just really have to be yourself because we're all unique. So when it comes to your art, you just really have to put yourself on the canvas or whatever your medium is, you need to put your vision there and just really own it. If you feel like you have a creative urge in you, do it. Make something. If you want to be an artist, you should always come to the house. It's better as an artist, you want to do what you want to do. You're so passionate. But at the same time, dapat may puso ka rin to help other people. Paano tayo makakatulong in a small way? As an artist, this is the best way na gawin siya. Music